So welcome everybody to this latest video on 160 Mat and in this video we'll be continuing with ratios with a focus on converting ratios to and from equations. Now as mentioned in the previous video on ratios and how they can be used to represent proportion and how they can be written as fractions either comparing one part to the other or from one part to the general total we can also relate ratios into equations involving two variables when we want to compare one part to another. So for example, if we had a ratio of A to B, and that was in the ratio of, let's say, 4 to 5, then I can translate this ratio here as A over B, and if I've got A over B, then that's going to be equal, and that, that ratio is equal to 4 to 5, then A is equal to 4 parts and b is equal to 5 parts. Now once you, you've converted your ratio into a fraction, we can then cross multiply. So if I then just cross multiply and I then multiply this with this and this with this, then what I end up with is 5a equals 4b. Now from this I can then do anything I want. I can create a sort of uh, formula or an equation. So making A the subject I get A equals 4 over 5B or making B the subject Oh, I don't know what letter that was, so let's just get rid of that. I get that B is equal to 5A over 4. So from this, I can then work out that B is, well, I should say A is 5 over 4 bigger than B. And in the first one, I've got that B is 4 fifths of A. And again, so it's just a case of just translating words into mathematical notation. Now, what we can do is we can generally summarize that into this. Now a common question you'd get asked is to convert ratios into equations. It seemed to be a very very big thing and a popular thing that's coming in recent exams. So this is certainly something that we've kind of proved by using the fractions but again I although depending on whether it appears on a multiple choice question or a one mark question you could probably just go straight into remembering this. However, if a question is worth more than more one mark, you may have to show some work in that as to how you get from the ratio into the equation. Now this leads in nicely to some example questions. So a question says write an equation in terms of a of a in terms of b where a and b equals three to four. Now in terms of this first, what we need to do here and what this question is asking us to do is to write a formula with A the subject involving B. So from this what we're going to want to do is we want to convert, let's start by converting both these two into fractions. So in terms of step one is convert the ratios into fractions. So if we do that first, what we end up with is we end up with A over B equals 3 over 4. Now the next step we then need to do, so step 2, is to then cross multiply. Now if we then cross multiply, what do we end up with? Well, we'll end up with 4A equals 3B. And then our fourth, as I'll say, our third step is then make the required letter the subject. So in this case the question is asking to make A the subject so all I then need to do is rearrange this formula here to make A the subject. So here I've got 4A equals 3B so therefore A equals 3 over 4B and there is my final answer. So translating this into words we could say that B is three quarters of A and that would be translating because obviously then we've got this and it's really important that you're able to actually translate this into this particularly when you're working backwards which we'll go on to later in the video. So let's have a look at our next question so it says if x to 
x plus 4 is in the ratio of 3 to 5 find the value of x so again going through step 1 what we want to do is convert these into fractions so here what I've got is I've got x over x plus 4 equals 3 over 5 and then I cross multiply so I've got 5x equals 3 lots of x plus 4 I can then expand the bracket so I've got 5x equals 3x plus 12 and then I want to make x the subject because I'm trying to solve this for x so here what I've then got is so step 3 is I've got 5x equals 3x plus 12 so I've got 2x equals 12 so x equals 6 and there is my final answer so moving on to question 3 it says if y plus 3 to y plus 5 is k to 1 show that y equals 5k minus 3 over 1 minus k so again going through the three points or steps is the first step we convert this into a fraction so I've got y plus 3 over y plus 5 and that's equal to k over 1 then the second step is then cross multiplying so what I've got is I'm going to end up with y plus 3 equals k and then y plus 5 and then if I expand that out I end up with y plus 3 equals ky plus 5k then if I just with more space over here I then want to make y the subject so I take everything all on so let's just write this out again 5k so if I take everything with y onto one side everything else to the other so if I take this ky over to this side so I'm going to minus ky and I take this 3 over to this side so I take away 3 then what I end up with is y minus ky equals 5k minus 3 and you can see slowly it's starting to give me the components for this now I want to try and make y the subject now because we're dealing with algebra I can't just simply join y minus ky together so what I need to do here is factorize because I only want one y and one way to get rid of a y is to factorize so if I factorize that I get y and then 1 minus k equals 5k minus 3 and then what's this y doing to this bracket it's multiplying so to get rid of the bracket what do I need to do well I need to divide and let me just miswritten that so let's get rid of that that should be 1 minus k so then what I'm left with is y equals 5k minus 3 over 1 minus k which is exactly what they wanted me to prove so now let's work in the opposite direction so in these questions with here what we've given was we've given a an equation and we need to write down the ratio so as an example it says if 2p equals 3q then write the ratio of p to q so again what I'm going to do here is I've got 2p equals 3q now what you want to do here is is try and get letters on one side and numbers on the other so I'm going to have my letters on the left hand side and my numbers on the right hand side so let's start by getting rid of this 2 by dividing by 2 so I end up with p equals 3q over 2 and then let's get rid of this q and so I take that to the other side by dividing by q so what I'm left with is p over q equals 3 over 2 now once it's in this format I can then convert this into the ratio so p to q is going to be equal to 3 to 2 so there is my final answer or again if you prefer it you can write it like that which is absolutely fine then looking at question 2 it says if 9p equals 5q find the ratio of p to q so again here I want to try and write it so I've got 9p equals 5q so I take the q over so I've got 9p over q equals 5 and then take the 9 over so I get p over q equals 5 over 9 now one thing that you may want to do and a common mistake that people make when doing these questions is they think oh 9p to equals 5q so that means then I've got p and q so let's just write that ratio and they write equals well I've got 9 and 5 now you can see here that that's not going to be the case so that is completely wrong when actually p to q is actually the reverse of the numbers so actually 
P has got the number on the right hand side and Q is going to have the number on the left hand side so it's actually 5 to 9 and again if you remember that just like we did in the notes that you probably highlighted in the little cloud thing that we did then that's absolutely fine it all depends on how many marks it's worth but what I've written in yellow is just the working out so from this we then know that P to Q is equal to 5 to 9 and there is our final answer now again if you know any shortcuts to get from this to this that's absolutely fine if it's only worth one mark you'll get the full marks you don't need to show the fractions you don't need to cross multiply and all of that it's not necessary if you can get it but make sure that obviously you are getting those method marks if they are available now with question three it says 3a equals a half b find the ratio of a to b now again exactly the same so we've got 3a equals a half b not a so let's just get rid of that a so again what i want to do is basically swap the letters and the numbers so i've got a over b equals and this is going to be a half on the top over three now we can't have fractions within fractions so what does this equal well that is the same as a half divided by three which is the same as a half divided by three over one which is the same as a half and then remembering your rules of division fra dividing fractions we flip the second fraction turn it into a times so then what we've got is we've got this equals a sixth so what I've then got is a over b equals one over six and once it's in this format converting it into a ratio should be relatively easy and that's one to six and there we go so then looking at question four, it says if 5a equals a third b, find the ratio of a to b. So again, if I just write this down. Now again, I want a over b. So that's going to be a third over five. And then from this, what I then need to do is to convert this into a single fraction. So I've got a third divided by five, which is a third divided by five over one which is the same as a third times one over five, which is the same as one over 15. So A over B is equal to one over 15 and converting that into a ratio gives me one to 15. Then moving on to our last example. So it says if 8A plus 3B equals 5A plus 7B, find the ratio of A to B. So for this, what you need to recognize is we've got letters, we've got A's and B's all on different sides. So what you want to do first is make A's onto one side. So if I just write 8A plus 3B equals 5A plus 7B. So if I take the A over to this side and the B over to this side, I end up with 8A minus 5A equals 7B minus 3B. This then simplifies to give me 3A and this simplifies to give me 4B and as you can see then it turns very very similar to the previous examples. So here I've got A over B equals 4 over 3 and then from this I've got A to B is going to be equal to 4 to 3 and there is my final answer.